This is a computer versus iPad showdown. Can your iPad be used as a computer? I've been asked many times whether or not you should buy an iPad or computer or if you need both, what's the benefit? So basically this video is going to guide you through whether or not you can survive school with just an iPad. We've all been hearing that the iPad is getting closer and closer to a laptop, so let's get this video started. First, I'll be discussing the weight, portability, and size. So the iPad is light and transportable. It's nice on your lap. If you would like to go to a library or let's say cafe, if they're open in your area, it's really nice to carry along. Whereas the MacBook is like really heavy and bulky depending on what size you get. I have the 16 inch, so I understand it's a bit heavier, but I do enjoy the larger screen, that's why. But the thing about the MacBook is sometimes it gets really heavy and hot and sounds like a rocket ship about to take off with all this fan cooling going Going on. So in this category, I would say the iPad has the perfect size. It's a pretty big computer screen, 12.9 inches, which is the largest one is good enough for you to use as a computer. Of course, like smaller iPads wouldn't really work like the mini, but they have larger screens that are definitely doable. On the iPad, you have apps such as GoodNotes, Notability, OneNote, which are great for handwritten notes, whereas on the computer, you only have like Notion, let's say, Google Docs, Microsoft Word, those type of apps for typing. People have told me, of course, you can take notes on your computer, you can just type with it, but personally, I just prefer the handwritten aspect of like annotating, highlighting, writing things out. You know, they've done multiple studies that have shown that handwriting your notes is actually better for comprehension rather than typing everything because I noticed that since I can type kind of fast I just go on and on and I just type everything down verbatim and I don't absorb anything plus if you decide to go with a computer of course you might want to handwrite something so you'll do it on paper and I noticed that you just end up with loads of notebooks handouts all this random stuff which is super annoying to carry around and can get really heavy the iPad really prevents you from having just all these excess papers and binders floating around. Plus, there are tons of accessories that make the iPad similar to the computer and enhance the overall iPad experience. For example, a keyboard. I know the Magic Keyboard they have is quite expensive, but it doesn't have a protective covering, so I have this Logitech Slim Folio, which basically does the same thing, and it has a protective covering, and it's just a lot better for typing. It works really well, plus you can add a mouse, and then it basically becomes like pseudo computer setup. Plus, once you add a USB port, you're all set. But what really makes the iPad experience so much better is the handwritten aspect along with using Paperlike. I've been using the Paperlike for over seven months and I absolutely love it. The installation is so easy. So I just recently took off my old Paperlike to show you guys the process, but basically, but when you don't have a screen protector, it gets super smudgy with your fingerprints and it's just really slippery to write with and it just feels like glass. And the transition from paper to digital note taking is a big jump. So having the paper like really eases the transition and makes it a lot more enjoyable. Also, when I was younger and I would always put on screen protectors, I'd always be so scared that I'd get bubbles and I did get bubbles. But this application and instructions just make it really easy and simple to get along with. And I usually end up with a perfect screen protector. Plus, they come with two in a pack just in case you mess up one, which is really nice security. And say bye bye to the glare. Plus, you can write super neat. It's a win win situation. So check them out. Link in the description if you are interested. Honestly, the iPad is so much more efficient with space. See here, I've only used 55 gigabytes, plus I have a bunch of random apps that I don't really use but are on my iPad anyway. You can see here that GoodNotes only takes around five gigabytes, which is honestly not that much considering all the PDFs I have. Plus you can always add an external hard drive if you're interested in that. But for some reason, my computer just has random, absolutely nothing files. I don't even know what these are and they just, they're on here and they just take up all this space. I don't know how to control this. Next, I'll be talking about the price. This is one of the largest factors when deciding whether or not you want an iPad or a computer, but I'm just gonna say it. The iPad and computer are pretty similar in price, but it depends on what you're looking for. For example, the MacBook Pro starts at around $900, which is actually equivalent to some iPad prices. For example, here are all the prices of the iPads, but you're gonna need a pencil and a keyboard likely. So overall, it's gonna be around $600 for like the cheapest option to like $1,000 if you want the Air. So overall, the price is roughly the same, but with the reasons I stated before, it depends on what you're looking for. Which leads me to my next point, the iPad operating system versus the laptop operating system, let's say Mac OS. Multitasking with the iPad is pretty okay. And the iPad OS isn't as advanced as a computer because it's an iPad. 
body. There are a lot of apps you can use that replace the computer apps, but in my opinion, these are computer apps in the first place, so they tried to make them into an iPad app, and it still turns out well, but there are still limits. For example, these apps that I love using on my computer can only be really used on my computer and they don't really support the iPad as well. You're using software with limited capacity, plus it can be a lot slower to load things. However, the new M1 chip is pretty good because it has the same one in the computer. But I do notice that the iPad won't get you that fan sound. It'll just get kind of hot. Next is efficiency. For example, the laptop has a bunch of different shortcuts that you can use to like bring up different things. And next, the software limitations depending on what you're going to be doing. For example, doing online tests with online school is not a pleasant experience, especially if it's like proctored where they're looking at you through the webcam. But honestly, for the overall student, if you're not going to be using like any fancy softwares or anything extra, the iPad will honestly suffice. But you're probably thinking, what about a computer tablet, something like a two-in-one Microsoft Surface? Well, those are actually really good. I've had the Surface 4 and I didn't really use it for the handwriting feature, mainly for the reasons that there weren't a lot of good note-taking apps, plus the pen and writing experience with like the glass and all that stuff really just wasn't my thing. But basically you get the efficiency of a computer with having the handwriting aspect. If you don't mind Windows, it's pretty good. But then you're thinking, what about cheaper tablets like the Samsung Tab? I've heard about those. They run on Android. If you're okay with that, they're a bit slower and there are fewer note-taking apps, but otherwise they're pretty good. So we're just going to do an overall recap. Reasons for the iPad. You want to do lots of handwritten notes, PowerPoints, homework questions that you feel need lots of paper. It's a portable device you can carry around and you'll probably be returning to school too, so you can use it in a lot of places. However, reasons for the laptop is you can honestly do everything on the computer except the writing part and if you're okay with just having type notes you'll be fine or having just a bit of loose leaf paper. It's hard to justify buying an iPad for all these reasons and you'll likely be need to running specific softwares that work on the computer or you just want to run them efficiently. And then reasons for both like me, you want to have two screens like a side screen type of thing. You want like two devices, one for handwriting and one for maybe taking the school and one at home, let's say your laptop top for doing like more strenuous work and you enjoy multitasking and just really want to be efficient. My personal workflow is a combination of both, mainly for the reasons mentioned above. I'm the type of person to have a million tabs open. I mean, aren't we all? But I also do a lot of YouTube on the side, video editing, my Etsy shop. It's just a lot of different softwares I have to run and I need the iPad and computer. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope I helped you decide whether or not you're going to go computer or iPad gang this semester. So thank you guys for watching again and see you later. Bye bye.